Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. So, I actually have two methods to solve this problem. So make sure to stick around for the video to see me solve both methods. So for my first method, method 1, I'm going to write my problem right here. 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 5 to the power of x plus 7, I can write that as 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 7. And now, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to the power of x. So then, these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now, from here, an important property of the exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 2 over 5. And another property is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of n. So 2 over 5 to the power of x. And this is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now from here, <clears throat> I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of 7. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so I get b times log a. In this case, I have log 2 over 5 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, and I have log 5 to the power of 7, so I can move 7 to the front. So I get x times log 2 over 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now from here, we obviously want to find the value of x, so to do that, we have to get rid of log 2 over 5 by dividing both sides by log 2 over 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 over 5. And we have our answer here. This is our solution, but there is a way to simplify it more. So first off, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 2 over 5, that's going to equal... log 2 minus log 5. And now from here, I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 7 times log 5 over log 5. And these two cancel out, so I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus 7. And this is the same thing as 7 of log base 2 of 5 minus 7. Now for method 2.
what I can do is my equation was 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now I'm going to just start by taking log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now using that property, I get x times log 2 is equal to x plus 7 times log 5. And now if I distribute the log 5, I get x times log 2 is equal to x times log 5 plus 7 times log 5. Now if I subtract x times log 5 on both sides, these two cancel out and I get x times log 2 minus x times log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now I can factor out x, so I get x times log 2 minus log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. And divide log 2 minus log 5 on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 5, <coughs> which again simplifies to this. So x equals 7 times log base 2 of 5 minus 7 is my answer. So in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. So I want to find the value of this problem. So for my solution, I'm going to start by rewriting my problem here. So 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. And to start off, I'm going to rewrite 19 here as 18 plus 1. So I get 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 18. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1. And now I have this minus 2 to the power of 18. Now from here, because I have two terms that are the same, I can factor out 2 to the power of 18. So I get 2 to the power of 18 times, well, 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is simply just 2 to the power of 1. And negative 2 to the power of 18 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is negative 1. So I get 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. And this is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times, well, 2 to the power of 1 is 2. So I get 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 18. So I get 2 to the power of 18 as my answer. Now, there is actually another method of solving this problem. So going back, our, originally pro our original problem was 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18, right? And what we did was we wrote 19 as 18 plus 1. And we solved it by factoring out 2 to the power of 18. So now, what if instead of rewriting 19, I rewrite 2 to the power of 18 as 2 to the power of 19 minus 1? Now, the way I'm going to solve this is I'm going to rewrite 19 minus 1 as 19 plus negative 1. Now, I can still use that property that 
states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 19 plus negative 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1. So I can still do it. Now from here, my greatest common factor from these two terms is 2 to the power of 19. So I get 2 to the power of 19 times 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 1 minus 1 half, which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 1 half, which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1. And 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 18.